Oh, how the mighty have stumbled. In the latest episode of When Royals Collide with Reality, Prince Harry, sorry, just Harry, found himself in a U.S. courtroom where his royal moniker was as useful as a chocolate teapot. Yes, folks, in a scene straight out of a sitcom, the American justice system delivered a royal reality check. The U.S. does not bow down to titles, not even for the Duke of Sussex himself. The heart of the matter? Harry's immigration saga, a juicy plot twist that's got everyone on the edge of their seats. At stake? His right to privacy, or more accurately, his ability to sidestep the consequences of his past confessions. It seems Harry's memoir, Spare, more like Share Too Much, where he candidly discussed his dalliances with illegal substances, has come back to bite him in his royal behind. Enter the Heritage Foundation, playing the role of the villain in Harry's American adventure. They're on a quest to expose Harry's visa application details, itching to see if he was as honest on paper as he was in his book. Royal expert Tom Quinn tossed in his two cents, suggesting Harry's in for a rude awakening. Living in a bubble where the rules don't apply? Welcome to the real world, your highness. The courtroom drama unfolded with a judge who clearly wasn't starstruck. Refusing to call him Prince, the judge cited the U.S. Constitution's pesky little detail about not recognizing titles. Homeland Security, apparently absent with a note from the teacher, had previously instructed the judge to use Harry's title. Talk about mixed messages. At the heart of this legal labyrinth isn't whether Harry gets to stay in the land of the free, but whether the Department of Homeland Security must spill the beans on his visa application. The stakes? High. The implications? Even higher. Harry's choices boil down to a few not-so-royal options. He lied, the government's covering for him, or he's here on a diplomatic visa. Any outcome promises a deliciously scandalous fallout. And just when you thought it couldn't get more, you can't make this stuff up, Harry's legal eagles are flapping about, claiming just because he wrote about his drug use doesn't mean it's gospel. Ah, the old, I lied in my autobiography to sell books defense. What a novel approach. So... What does this say about everything else Harry and Meghan have professed over the years? Can we trust anything from Spare, or is it all just creative fiction for profit? This conundrum leaves Harry, or whatever he's calling himself these days, in quite the pickle. With every move scrutinized and every word doubted, the Duke of Sussex is learning the hard way that titles don't grant immunity, and past actions can indeed catch up to you, royal or not. As this saga unfolds, one thing is clear. Harry's American dream is turning into a very public, very embarrassing lesson in humility. So grab your popcorn, folks. This courtroom drama is better than primetime TV, and we're here for every cringeworthy moment.